to think of, you know, the, our species, they were dying. No money to pump water, no money to make their activities, no money to run even the office work. But to the world again to, to say so, let them not be stopping hunting, otherwise, uh, most especially here. But here we are, we are hunting, but we are not hunting as such, but we are, we are trying to conserve. Let me put that way, we are trying to conserve, not by, not by just you not know, killing or whatever, but we are trying to conserve and then and after that conserving is when we are just a little bit, you know, taking some trophies, one, 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 one day, so that we, we can receive something and our family and our kids and whosoever within our neighborhood. Otherwise, I thank you for that one. So the guy, Shipunga Kabako, who I've hunted with for years in Namibia, have now got new properties, teamed up with other places, and they have the best destination I've ever been to. And they're excited for us to get there. We're their first clients of the year from America. And I know how important that is, not only to the, the guys, their families, the skinners, the trackers, their families, that's their income. But at the end of the day, that money goes to provide conservation for all these animals. And when there's not hunters there, guess who's in there? Poachers. So it's so important for us to get there. It's so important for us on this trip to make it. And everybody's dreams are in my hand. And this is probably the biggest trip I've ever taken in my life. see a window coming in October and flights cancel. Another flight cancels. Joburg shut down. And uh, about a week before we were going to go, or a couple of days even, uh, flights changed, got canceled, had to totally reroute everything. So Brad says, any airport in the United States we can get to Namibia, I'll get us there. And that's exactly what he does. Our great travel agent, Jay, <laughs> aka Blue Collar Adventures, uh, got us into Africa and um, just had a trip of a lifetime. Pretty, feeling pretty spoiled today. You know what you're thinking? This isn't blue collar, but we're rolling with the Sullivan Whitetail Ranch and big Texas deer. So, uh, new deal for us. We're taking this little jet and get on the big jet. A new route we've never taken, but we were willing to take the risk to get here, and I'm just so excited.
bad, huh? The start of the show, Crystal. No. <laughs> we made it. It was a long journey. But the COVID test and all that stuff was worth it just to get here to see these guys again. Not Namibia. Yeah. I haven't found anything better of you. No. Proudly sponsored by Spot Hog, the world's toughest archery products. Executive Outdoor Adventures. Pinnacle Hunting Supplies, the best of the West shooting system. Featuring the Huskamaw Advantage, Traeger Wood Pellet Grills. <laughs> Guys just purchased some 300 PRCs and 375s. We're gonna go test them out. They're best of the West, Huskamaw Systems from Pinnacle, and I know they're gonna be on and we're gonna have some fun. <laughs> the camera guy's bothering you just in like a short, short arm. It's gonna make a big yeah. difference. Yeah. Safety is off. Fire no! Good, good shot. Perfect. Oh, I like a woman always show the guys how to do that. <laughs> Jeff, you want to shoot it? You just gonna have her. Shoot. I wouldn't shoot it. <laughs> One click over 550. You think? Yeah, that's it. I would do. Smoked it. So dead center at 560. I think it's good. Okay. I guess she's gonna make me shoot. What is it? Oh, you know, you got 550? Yeah. Did we just jump? Yeah. There. Maybe you shoot. I can't see what he's got. We'll find him. We got trackers. <laughs> Double lunged him. Double lunged him. So, somebody spotted an eel, and I'm not a very good spotter, so I just wait for him. But there's a big bull up here I'm trying to get a better look at him. I'm trying to talk Brad into shooting something. There he comes over the top. Hey, look. Massive. I just want to see how old he is, you know. Not anything, you know, we had imagined. I always wanted to go, it was on my bucket list. Been hunting since I was eight and uh, turned 51 this year. And I was like, Jay, I want to go to Africa. And uh, when we get there, uh, and I think what made it more special is the trouble it took to get there and what was going on in the world and just the appreciation to see the people um, because it, the continent's great, the animals are great, but the people there just, it's, it's about, conservation it's about hunting that's their life and there's a lot of people trying to make rules and laws and change things for that country and if they let that country decide because they know what it means to the locals it, it would be uh, a lot of things would be different so exciting to watch your friends experience something so amazing and see their faces when they come in from their first hunt in Africa we meet at the lodge it's, uh, it's a celebration every night, every day. The staff, the food, the accommodations, you know, just for that, it's worth the trip. When you add hunting to it, you add adventure to it, where, what else do you want to do? It's my pleasure to welcome you all tonight. You're back in Namibia. Um, I'm really, I'm like a kid excited about getting this new thing, you know, this thing started, but we're happy to have you all here and uh, Jay, thank you for bringing these nice guys and lovely women over. Um, we really appreciate it. And uh, looking forward to this great trip ahead of us. And I hope you enjoy it as much as we're going to do. We are very happy to be out in the field again. So, <laughs> <All right. laughs> so yeah. And thank you for going through all the troubles uh, getting here. Yeah. But cheers, guys, to a great safari and good friendships. Cheers. 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 Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. You too, Yeah. Yeah.
the new place we're hunting is 45 minutes from the airport which is amazing after that long flight we're going to settle in we're going to a new place Omuyevi Lodge uh, it's a new property these guys are teamed up with and they also have different ranches spread out over 150,000 acres it's mountainous terrain full of superior species we're going to spend a couple days get dialed in and then we jump on another plane to head to the Caprivi Strip the most coveted dangerous game area in Africa. Proudly sponsored by Matthews. Wilderness Athlete. Fuel for the rugged, low T center. Reinventing men's health. Mortgage financial services. Set your course toward home ownership. National Roper Supply. NRSworld.com. Kuyu Ultra Light Hunting. We're headed to the Caprivi, my man. Shoot the big boys. You ready to go? Get, you gotta get my lovely mask. <laughs> That's right. I have a stylish one. Where'd Jeff go? Did he leave? <laughs> <laughs> Man, my face makes my face look swollen. You know, you think it just affects us uh, around here. And when we started talking to the guys in Africa and what was going on and no hunters were coming in. And uh, you really want to hunt in June and July when the weather's nice. But uh, we were the first group to get in. And to get in in October and see the smile on their faces and uh, the locals, you know, I, I, I knew it's about conservation in, in Africa, but I had no idea what it meant to the local tribes and the the food that we provided and just uh, to see those people excited to see us and kids waving at you and hollering wanting you to stop, um, it was uh, eye-opening. Hello. Thank you. Spread his, his mouth. <laughs> Kun. Jay. Jay, yeah, this is Kuni Scam Major. All right. It's more wild. It, no electricity. You know, it, it, you're out there. You're 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 in the animals element instead of in your element. And uh, to me, that was getting to something I really enjoyed as far as is being out you know, on, on their territory, not mine. Sultry and steamy and just a, a high humidity, but I don't even remember that part of it just because it was just so breathtaking at the same time and so amazing. And um, the animals and the sunsets and um, just, the experience that we had, we took advantage of every single minute of the day and it was, it was worth it, every single part of it. It's nice here in Pleasant. It's under a hundred. It just, we got a cool front yesterday. So it's down to like 102. But the air conditioner, when you open the tent, it's nice. You yeah. And Jay decides he's going to shoot this huge gun. Here, you shoot him. He's <laughs> the first one. Is my nose bleeding? <laughs> and what we were hunting in, I wouldn't even hunt in tennis shoes. And this guy is in flip flops. And at times they took their shoes off to walk 
through the marshes and the mud, and I was just, they, uh, to watch them track the animals too. I don't know, I, I wouldn't even see the track and, and they could find them. Sometimes uh, bad things turn out good, and you know, with COVID, nobody had been over there. We were the first ones to hunt, and it was October, so all the trophies were just amazing at the, the size of the animals. That lechway I killed uh, made a great shot off of sticks. I'm not the best at shooting off of sticks, but uh, I don't know, it was close to 300 yards, and uh, just dropped him, and was yeah, I was fired up. The stink is the pitch black and pitch, you know, pitch the distinction. Like these ones, I don't know. You see the one on the right, has got a shadow stripe? Right. The second from the right, don't. Yeah. So, the, we got shoot. a big wide black. Yeah, so I rather like shooting those. We got new best of the West uh, rifles. We got a 375 and a 300 PRC. and. Uh, we picked them up, we come out here, worked a little bit on shooting, and, and I mean, and immediately Holly's hitting the target at 500 yards and, um, and, and practicing with the 375 uh, at, at a 100 yards, but then even at 50 yards, just on a throw up from the shoulder, and she's ringing the, the steel. And, and so there was no doubt in, their, in my confidence in her to be able to execute uh, the shot and then but then we get there, and we get there, and every shot on every animal, it's one shot, and it hits the ground. the one on the left, but it's still two portraits away. We put guns broadside, and then you can take your shot. <laughs> Shot may just go down. <laughs> very, very well done. Having her there was like hunting with my kids and their first hunts and first kills with whitetail and different animals uh, here in the United States. I had that same enjoyment and excitement. Her making these kills and shots uh, that I did with the kids when they were growing up. We were all there for the same common goal. Uh, we were there for each other. We were there for the villagers. We knew that they had not had anyone there to uh, provide food for them because of uh, the COVID situation and they'd been shut down. And it's just everybody was there to, to just support each other and uh, we were all there for the common goal, and that, that was conservation and uh, the brotherhood and sisterhood of hunting, and um, just to help their economy and to provide them with some food. You know, when you come in at night, you're sitting around the fire and you're enjoying good friends, you kind of forget what's going on in the United States and around the world for that matter. COVID in 2020, it's been terrible. It's kind of showed us how fragile we are. So to be here 
in Namibia on a trip of a lifetime and take a little break from what's going on was such a relief. <laughs>